Oh, you know, uh, it's Friday and I feel like, okay, so last week I felt like the week just dragged on and on and on and we got to the end of the week and I felt like this week has been a month long. That's what I felt like. And um, this week, I feel like I just started this week. This week has been a second long. So, oh, it is. Yes. Yeah. Well, we need to introduce ourselves, Adam. <laughs> See, we're right on it. Uh, I'll start. I'm Liz Wade, and uh, I'm a voice on uh, Spotlight. I also write programs and um, sometimes produce them. And yeah, yeah just kind of do what needs to be done. I choose the programs for YouTube and, and all of that stuff. So go ahead, Adam. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and uh, Adam, do you mind if I take this opportunity to apologize for some uh, technical difficulties that we are having this morning? So uh, sorry if things just seem a little off this morning. We're, uh, we're working on it. Hey, we've already got some hellos from Miriam um, and Saida and Fidan. Uh, hey, uh, when, when you say hello, we would love to hear where you're from. Uh, Kay Tian says, hi guys, hello from Azerbaijan. Um, oh, and uh, Miriam says there's a voice problem with Adam. Is it with Adam? So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So anyway, hello to all of you and uh, thank you for joining us. You need to Okay. Uh, well, we have got um, a very exciting program for you today. Uh, exciting live show. Uh, Adam has some like cool questions for us to um, for us to talk about, so you can learn yes. a little bit more <laughs> about us, and we would love to learn a little bit more about you. Can you, um, can you also... let me know in the comments if you can hear me now? Okay. So I... Kaylin said. I can't hear Adam. That yeah, was a minute so, ago. So uh, let us know if you can hear Adam in yes, the Yes, so in this is comments. me talking. And if you can hear me, please let me know because I think I fixed uh, what the problem was. But it's Friday. Oh, good. Kaylin says, oh, yes, yeah. we can. Okay. Well, See, we these said... are the technical difficulties. I know. Please let me know. Oh, okay. So uh, <laughs> these are the technical difficulties that we were having. Yes. So there are, as, okay. as anyone might oh, know, there's I... a number of softwares connected to make this happen. So. Yes. Um, and I was also going to say we have a brand new uh, Spotlight fam uh, program in our Spotlight family. So we are excited to tell you about that brand new program uh, that Adam and I have been working on, and we hope it's really helpful to you. So. Yeah, did I do a good job uh, talking while you fixed that, Adam? You did, you did. Great. So we're gonna, yeah, we'll talk about all those things and answer your questions as well as we can. So maybe this is the first time you, you're joining us here on a Spotlight Live. Maybe you've listened to a program. Maybe mm -hmm. you have, uh, you're just follow us on Facebook and you like to do that. Um, 
the purpose of this program right here is for us to engage with you and for you to hear how two native English speakers speak and when they're talking to each other. Um, you know, we have our spotlight program, we have our advanced program, we have our, this is kind of a conversation program. Liz, do you want to talk about how this new program will fit into that? Yes. Okay, so um, sometimes on these live programs, uh, Adam and I just start talking about the programs that are coming up. And uh, we, as the writers and people who work on these programs, there are so many things that we are just not able to put in a program. Or maybe I have a funny story. Well, that's probably not true, but um, maybe somebody has a funny story um, that is about this program or um, yeah, stuff like that. Or maybe even you just want to practice your English talking about the program, but you don't know maybe somebody who listens to Spotlight or you don't um, know somebody who's learning English. So this is a way for um, you to kind of work around those problems. So this program is going to be a discussion program about the Spotlight program that came out uh, before. So, for example, this week's program is about nursery rhymes around the world. So, um, poems and songs that uh, mothers and fathers sing to their children or tell to their children with special lessons or or stuff like that. Um, and uh, we don't have a, this new program won't start this week, but if it did, uh, Adam and I just talk about the program and maybe, um, maybe Adam would talk about a nursery rhyme from his childhood and we would talk about the important things that the program talks about. So it's a way for you to really hear someone talk about the content in a normal English speaking speed and, uh, yeah, be engaged in the content that way. So, Adam, did I did I do a good job you, describing that? You did. did. You did a great job. The only thing I would add would be um, if you're interested in that kind of content, it will help to listen to the program and yes. then listen to this program. Right. Um, so that you will, because we'll be referencing the program. It's kind of like having a um, an English teacher to help you understand the program, to right. make sure you're doing it. It won't be a live thing, but you will be able to make comments and we'll try to answer any questions you might have um, about that, that if we would miss them on the program comments. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we are really excited for that program. Um, I think it's gonna come out next Wednesday will be our first episode of that we don't have a good name for it. It's a podcast yeah. discussion, video podcast going, discussion. Going, going, learning more. I, digging deeper. Digging deeper, yeah. Um, another know. layer, peeling, peeling the banana peel. We don't know. Yeah, I'm horrible go. at titles. Here's a fun fact. <laughs> Most of the time when I write a spotlight program, I just throw in a placeholder for a title and then Liz comes up with a better title. That's true. I do do that. We have not said hello to a lot of people who are saying hello. I would love to do that. Okay. Um, Salan Daoud from Somalia. Um, Daniel says hello from Ecuador. Uh, Rahul says cheers, Liz. Cheers. Um, hello from Buenos Aires. Uh, from Pablo. Uh, Glossu says hello from Brazil. Um, and Akram from Iraq. Uh, and uh, Kaylin very kindly says, I've been listening to your programs for more than four years. And Kone, as well, I'm a fan of your program. So thank you, yeah, thank you everyone much. who's writing on. <clears throat> oh, Liz, you froze up a little. Every single time. But I just love how people from like all over the globe are on this conversation right now. Yeah. I just love it. It's, it's, it's so... amazing. Yeah. And so that actually... It, I want to, I had this idea, and it might not work, mm -hmm. but I think it's great. It, you know, people might not know a lot about us. And so I thought we could, as a, as a group, answer some very simple questions. So I'm going to ask you, because I want everyone to know, first of all, 
that you have a very special day coming up, right? I do, yes. Pretty soon it is your birthday. And I will it not, is. I will not uh, say how old you are. Yeah, and I'll say, Adam, that um, to me, it's really interesting. Uh, when I went to Vietnam, it's very common for people just to ask, how old are you? Hmm. Um, and to, to ask other people, how old are you? Um, and they just say, and that's fine. But in the United States, many of our listeners might not know this. It is not common to ask how old someone is. And in fact, especially women. Sometimes, yeah, especially women. Um, and in fact, it can be considered very rude. Um, so <laughs> I'm not saying you can't ask how old I am. I'm just saying culturally, people don't really ask how old people are, um, which I think is a really interesting cultural thing in general because. Uh, why wouldn't we yeah, it's want a to fact. share how old we are? It's a fact. It's not a, it, um, it has nothing to do, well, we value youth and we value young being young and nobody, Yeah. I don't know, but it's time. You can't control it, right? Yeah. You are one yeah. year older than you were a year ago. Yeah, that's true. Um, so, so anyway, yes, I have a birthday coming up and, and uh, it's on Monday. So, uh, you know, that's going to be, it's going to be what I do. It's going to so, be what you do. Well, I yeah. thought it would be good to give people the opportunity to get to know Liz. So I have some questions. I only have a few of them, but I'll think of a few more. And I want everybody in the comments to answer these questions as well. Oh, yes. So uh, here's the first one. Where were you born? And have you lived anywhere else? Oh, okay. So I was born. Uh, I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, uh, yeah, that's where I was born in yep. Michigan, in the United States. And for those of you who don't know, it's the state that is shaped like a hand. So, am I holding it up in the right direction? No. Or do I need this hand? You need that hand. Yep. Okay, so this hand, and uh, in Michigan, at least in the lower peninsula, we like to point on our hand where we were born, So, I, or like where our city is. So this, Grand Rapids is about right here. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, I was born in Grand Rapids, and I have, uh, I have lived in Michigan most of my life. I did, in college, I lived in the United Kingdom for a few months. Okay. So, so as we go through these, feel free to write your answer in the comments where you were born. Mm -hmm. So do you have brothers and sisters? I do. I have, well, I only have one of those things. I do not have any brothers, but I have three sisters and uh, they are all younger than me. So I am the oldest of four girls in my family. And before any of you say, oh, you're poor dad, I like to say, oh, my lucky dad. He got four nice. awesome ladies as nice. daughters. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so do I get to ask you these questions as well? Sure. Adam, sure. I'll, I'll answer them as well. Um, okay. So first one, where were you born and have you lived anywhere else? So I was born in around the Chicago, Illinois area. Oh, I didn't know that. You didn't know that. I didn't. Nope. So I was born in Illinois and I lived there for about 10 years. And then when I was in grade three, we moved to Michigan. And so that's where I've lived in Michigan and a couple different cities in Michigan since then. Um, we did do a summer out in Colorado um, when we were in college. Um, and I have an older brother and a younger sister, so I am right in the middle. Yeah, wow, even like right smack dab in the middle. Isn't that yeah. a nice, uh, isn't smack that an idiom dab. or is it something? Right What's smack right dab. Smack dab in the middle. I don't even um, know how I would explain that. We've got a few, I know, right? Maybe just like, you know, you're throwing something like um, like darts or whatever. I always imagine like a, a, a dog smack. of yogurt, like, whoop, like right on the oh, pancake yeah. or something. Smack dab yeah. in the middle. We have a few answers from uh, people on YouTube. Uh, Akram says, I was born in Iraq and I still live in my country, Iraq. Hmm. Uh, um, 
Uh, Kaylin says, I have been living in Romania, born in May. Um, Akram says, I have three brothers and two sisters. And Sami says, I was born in Laune Sahara, southern area of Morocco. Oh. So that's cool. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what, here's a simple one. Okay. What is your favorite color? Yeah, um, I think that pink is one of my favorite colors. Pink. Um, but I really do like different colors for different reasons. So, so when you say pink, are you thinking like the color of your walls, the color of your clothes, the color you like to, um, that you just enjoy? I just think pink is a really <laughs> nice color. Okay. I would paint it on walls. <clears throat> It depends on the pink. Sure. Um, but I was gonna say I really like when I um, when I take notes or use pens. I have about ten or twelve different color pens, oh. and I try to all different color ones. I would one, not have guessed that about you. Yeah, I love color. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's very fun. I think my favorite color is orange. Like I find it uh, both passionate but calming as well. Oh yeah. You have that orange shirt you wear a lot. I do. I I do. I like uh you know, it's I think it's it's not red, it's not yellow, it's right between. And I don't like writing. I use I'm very particular about uh I use a lot of uh black sharpies. Uh I don't write in color. Yeah, that's true. I do know that about you. Yeah. Okay, so we were just called out on YouTube. They say, "Do you read comments from Facebook Live?" And I have not been doing that today. So uh, we have Orlando says hello from Dominican Republic. Uh, Zedon says, hi, Liz. Hi, Adam. Nice to see you again. You too. I remember your name from previous comments and, and live shows and things. Uh, Viridiana says, I was born in Morelia, Michoacan, Mexico. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, we almost certainly do or not. Yeah. <laughs> Dimitri says hello from Ukraine. Um, and then as I'm scrolling by, it seems uh, like we, we've, it, they're talking about how you're missing your voice, but oh. you're on now. Um, and Tang, Tang says, I am from Vietnam. So hello to all of you on Facebook Live um, and YouTube. And I am really sorry for not reading Facebook Live comments until now. That is my fault. Shame, shame, shame. I know. It's all right. Next one. Okay. Do you, do you have any pets? Yes. And in fact, uh, my cat has made an appearance on this live program ah. before. Um, we have a cat at my house, and her name is Kitty Kitty. And of course, that uh, is ridiculous. It, ridiculous. It is a silly, silly name. And now uh, you have to explain why it's a silly yes. name. Yes. Yes. So, Kitty is like a like a nickname for cat so a kitten is a baby cat and then kitty would be like here kitty kitty and we might you might call a cat that way and so uh i don't even remember how she got that name but we call her kiki which kiki. is short for kitty kitty because it's k-i-k-i -K -I. so we call her kiki but i really like nicknames so i call her keeks keeksarama kikaroo Kiki. Yeah. Well, Salon Daud asks, what level is your conversation? Um, you know, I am not sure how to categorize it in, because um, I know there are levels like A1 or B3 or, or whatever, I think. Um, and I'm not sure what level it is there, but I would say uh, Adam and I are talking in a native speed, yeah. and we are speaking in a generally accepted native English vocabulary. So you should feel really um, good if you can understand. We're not slowing down. No, the way this we're is speaking. how this is how Adam and I would have a conversation with each right. other. Right. So I have uh, to pause. Diego yeah. D'Souza is hide watching us at work. You what? He's he's hide watching us at work right now. <laughs> Well, I hope you're not like a heart surgeon or some kind of medical doctor. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. 
So I had said, oh, I, was, I also like cats. They're so lovely. Yes. Uh, I think there are two kinds of people in this world, right? There's cat people and dog people. Um, and that doesn't mean that uh, those people are actual cats or dogs, right? Yeah. Um, but there are people who like cats and people who like dogs. I, I am a person dogs. who likes neither. Really? Okay, there's three people then. But and we have a dog. Buddies. We have a dog. And my, and my family loves killers like Adam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I am a cat person. I really like cats. Um, but also, you were going to say you have a dog. Oh, yes. We have a dog, which we got for my children, um, because I know that caring for an animal is a very good uh, thing for kids. Uh, it teaches them skills like not just thinking of themselves, caring for another being. Um, mm -hmm. And so they learn to, you know, and they also, the, the animal, quote unquote, loves the kids. I don't know. Yeah. I think the dog just You don't love food. the kids or you don't love the dog? I don't love the dog and I'm sus I suspect the dog doesn't <laughs> love the kids. I suspect right. the dog uh, gets food and, and pets from the kids. Oh no, Franklin has uh, a, a question, a, uh, a real thorny issue okay. here. Ha, ha, I am cat people, but my girlfriend is a dog person, so we can't decide what we will have in the future. Oh, plants. Get some, get some, <laughs> get some plants Maybe to take care of. Maybe a gerbil? Uh, an iguana? Maybe a dog and a cat. That's just, that's crazy talk. <laughs> that's crazy talk. That, that's a movie. Dogs movie. versus cats. I don't know. Sounds like yeah, some kind probably. of movie. Um, uh, okay, and Andres, I want to say this one too one more time. Uh, I'm a dog lover person. I have two dogs. Dinky, he is nine years old, and Pandora is eight years old. I do Things love those names. Ecuador. Oh, yeah, that is that is very charming. I, I imagine that Dinky is a huge dog. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, Adam, I think the next question you need to ask is um, if I'm married. Ah, uh, yes. Because that has. So been let me ask you this question, Liz. A few times. Are Are we married? No, we are not married. Uh, Liz and Adam are not married to each other. No, we are married, not to each other. Yes, but uh, that's we are we are married. we are happily not married. <laughs> yes, I am married. Um, I have a husband. Who is not Adam? Yes, and I. So have yes, I am married. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> See ya, suckers. Oh, Vera Diana um, on Facebook says I have two dogs, Lambda and Hachi, and one cat, Alpha. I love those names those so much. Ones. That's so awesome. Um. All right. Last. Last question. Okay. You get to eat one more meal. You're, it's your final meal you're ever going to eat on Earth. What do you eat? Um, oh, that's really hard because um, I will tell you, Adam, you probably already know this about me. Wait, let I me guess. love You food. love sushi. I love food. I do love sushi. It might be sushi. Yeah, or like. Um, but as your last meal? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Any meal could be my last meal, Adam. I, I would have to have something with butter on it, and sushi and butter oh. don't go. Like something really yeah. rich. Maybe like a steak. I do like steak too. I know probably yeah. many of our listeners maybe even don't eat beef or are vegetarians, but yeah. I I do I do like a good steak. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I would do something like that, something um, like French fries and maybe even a hamburger, like a really good hamburger. Yeah. Oh, I do like hamburgers. Do you realize how um, how uh, cliche that sounds to be that. two people who live in the U.S. who and love hamburgers? hamburgers? Yeah. At least and I didn't say fried chicken. And... You know, my favorite thing is... Um, Last year, I traveled to, um, because we all have opinions 
or ideas about food in other countries, right? All yep. of us, yep. with, you know, I might have an idea of what Vietnamese food is and uh, Vietnamese people might have an idea of what uh, food is like in Russia and uh, it could be wrong or right. Anyway, we, uh, I was in Vienna last February and we came to an ad that had the, like, um, it was, I don't remember the name of it, but it was the American like hamburger chicken okay. thing. And it was huge. It had like um, lettuce and tomato and like three burger patties and a chicken uh, a chicken patty. And um, I think it was called like the, the American Master Blaster or something like that. And I was like, I would never see something like that in America. I would never see that. Um, I mean, maybe at some very, uh, like, yeah. cliche or, like... Um, and it would cost, like, a lot of money on the menu, and it would be, like, a yeah. challenge to yes. eat it. But I was just... I What struck me about it, what made me think, is just, like, what do people think Americans eat? Well, we have uh, <laughs> Roxana uh, ask, what is the most popular food in America? You know, I would guess... You come up with a guess, and I'll come up with a guess. Well, I I think it's obviously pizza. Yeah, I would have guessed pizza as well. Yeah, I think that yeah. is the... Pizza is great because it can feed a lot of people. You get one pizza, it can feed a lot of people. Yeah, um, you can get different things on the pizza, so everyone kind of gets what they want. Yeah. But I will say, uh, uh, American food culture, depending on... Like, if you, if you would come and visit... Um, a major city like New York, Chicago, Miami, Los Angeles, you're going to find almost any kind of food because when people move to a new city, they still take with them their food, right? And yeah. then when they move around the world. So um, there's a lot of, you can find almost any kind of food you, you want to eat. Um, and so I don't know, I mean, if you came here and you're like, I want to go to an American restaurant, yeah. That what would, be would that mean? I think I think you know you're you're struggling or we're struggling to articulate like what does it mean to be American? Yeah. And I think that many people would think uh, visiting say McDonald's would be American food. Yeah, I think that's that's probably true. Um, yeah. Kentucky Fried Chicken is all around the world. Oh. It's actually yeah. more popular around the world than it is in the United States. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, or I'm sorry, it's KFC. It's now it's not Kentucky. Oh yeah, chicken. that's true. They don't want chicken in their name. Uh, um, uh, Franklin asks, Vietnamese have pho. Do you have you tried it? Uh, yes, I have tried that actually. I I love pho. There's I think there's a video even of me trying it quite a long time ago um, on our YouTube channel. So yeah. you can check out that video there. Well, we are approaching half an hour, which is... Yeah, uh, oh my goodness. We're cruising here, because um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Why not? I Why not know. add an extra 10, 20 um, minutes? Like I said, I am very excited it's Friday. Are there, um, is there anything we didn't talk about that we promised we would talk about? I don't think so. We've got our new program that mm -hmm. you can check out next Wednesday on YouTube. And if you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and, um, and click subscribe under this video and then hit the little bell so you get notifications when that program goes through. So um, every week we should have two or three programs for you on any level that you are at learning English. Um, on Mondays, we have our classic program, which is a slower speaking speed um, and a simpler vocabulary. Um, and then on Wednesday, we will have a, a high level discussion about that program that you can pop in, see how much you understand or um, see how much you understood about the program. Um, and then on Thursday, we'll have our advanced uh, advanced program, which is the same as the classic program, but it uses a more natural speaking speed. So I think that um, like the classic program is maybe for a high beginner, low intermediate. 
Um, and then our advanced program is maybe for a higher intermediate, lower advanced learner. And then this program and our new program are really for advanced learners. But don't let that stop you from going in and checking it out because you might understand more than you think. Exactly. So, and I think we've reached the point in this program where we tell you how much we think you guys are the best. Because yeah. um, whether you're on Facebook or you're watching this on YouTube, um, we really just appreciate it. We, we weren't able to say hello to everyone. We weren't able to answer every question, but yeah. we read them all. We'll try to respond to most of them. Um, and and just, uh, yeah, we, we do this because... Well, we we love to do it and we love to engage and make programs, but we also do it because we love to engage with you guys and to hear where you're from and connect with you. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, be sure to check out our website for uh, new programs and to follow along with the script there. Um, and also our, our English learning blog. There's a lot of blog posts there about how to use Spotlight. If you're wondering how can I practice English um, when it's you know social distancing or COVID time. Um, and then we're on Twitter, so you can check us out there. Uh, we're on uh, anywhere you can download podcasts. So uh, we're Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, App, those, are the, those are the big Spotify. two. Yeah, anywhere you can download audio. Um, and then also, obviously, on YouTube and Facebook. And, uh, yeah, we would love to see you. Leave a comment. Subscribe. That really helps us out. Um, yeah. yeah. And just thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for, for letting us know what you like to talk about. We love to make programs that yeah. are for you. And we've gotten a couple suggestions even here that we'll have to, we'll have to consider. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And so... Um, yeah, did I forget anything, Adam? I don't think so. I think I think you, uh, you wrapped it up nicely. Nice. A little right. bow on top. <laughs> All right. Bye, Liz. All right. Bye, Adam. Bye, everyone. Thank you again for listening. We've really enjoyed this time with you.